Welcome back to those digitals. Today on episode four, we're gonna be talking about the craziness going all over the world. So let's get started. Come on. So guys, how was y'all's day? Good. I had a great day until I heard the news of the Willow Project. We're gonna talk about that today. But we got some other interesting stuff happening with Bad Bunny. What's going on with Bad oh. Bunny, Jordan? So Bad Bunny, this is how it all started. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner got caught leaving the club at like at the same time, but not together. So then all these rumors started like speculating and they were like, oh, they're together. But then when everything was confirmed was when they caught Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny kissing in a parking Ooh. lot, like a garage parking lot. And yeah. everybody was just so mad about it. They're all so mad about it for no reason. When you say everybody. Like everybody. You my cousin. <laughs> like why? Why are people mad because about Kylie? Was it Kylie Jenner? Kendall, Kendall Jenner? Kendall, Kendall Jenner. Jenner. Kendall Jenner. <laughs> so Kendall Jenner. They're mad because why are they mad? Like Genesis. their reasons are because that Bad Bunny says like he dates Latinas and stuff. Isn't and Kendall Jenner Latina? No, she's like Armenian. Oh she? yeah. I mean, <laughs> or or of like Armenian descent or whatever. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I don't know. But <laughs> Twitter world Wait. is like up in arms. Like all the at least all the they're girls mad, that bro. I are on, like, on my Twitter feed, they're all like, how could you, Benito, or whatever. Benito. Yeah. <laughs> it was a personal attack to everyone. <laughs> yeah. They're all mad, bro. What about you, Jenny? How do you feel about that? I don't really jealous? care for it. No, but like, what would you, because ideally, like, Bad Bunny is supposed to date a Latina. That's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that's what they're saying. A Latino having to date a Latino? Is that, is that, do you agree with that? Disagree? What do you think? I don't care. <laughs> So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter doesn't to matter, me. Yeah. Like, he can go and date whoever he wants. At the, at the end of the day, like, all these girls that are, like, getting mad about it, like, he's not going to care. He doesn't see that. Or maybe he does, but he's not going to care. He's Bad Bunny. And it's Kendall Jenner. And it's Kendall Jenner, so. He throws people's phones. Into That'll be some distance. cool yeah. babies. <laughs> Wait, what? That'll be some cool babies. It'd be interesting. Some, some good bun- some good ba- bunnies and bad bunnies. I don't, I don't understand bunnies. the hate. Like, why? Okay, like, she's not a Latina, but... She's a billionaire, right? Am I wrong? Or she is? Yeah. She is. Um, oh, she's related to one, that's for sure. She's oh, rich. Well, you know, know. She's billionaire adjacent, at least. Like, but Bad Bunny yeah. is Bad <laughs> Bunny, bro. There's only one Bad Bunny. There's that's a lot true. of billionaires out there. That's true. Wait, can they see Josh this time? Yeah, they can they see can Josh, see yeah. Oh, they can see Josh yeah. this time. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, like, going back to what you were asking, like, how do, you, how do I, or like, how, why does a Latino have to date, like, a Latina or whatever? I don't think that that's, like, a necessary thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Why? I don't get yeah. it. Like it's like J Lo. Why is she dating Ben Affleck when there's a lot of guys out here, a lot of Latinos? For yeah. real? Yeah, they're like engaged. Aren't they're they? engaged, but they're or married, one or the other. Yeah, but double standards. Here we go. Double yeah. standards. Like everybody's like, yeah, J Lo, get that white. Person. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> exactly. Like why not be up in arms about that? I guess is uh, I don't know. I think it just has more to do with like the female fan base that is like super pro. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bad Bunny. For the record, I'm not a Bad Bunny, f- Bad Bunny, f- Bad Bunny fan. fan. Bad Bunny. That's yeah. like a tongue twister. Bad Bunny fan. Not a fan of his music at all. So. Why not? For real? Like his you don't new like album was really good. Yeah. yeah I just don't good. like the the messaging behind the music. Oh, okay. It's very like I understand like half of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> goes against everything I believe in. Um, that makes yeah. sense. And it's hard to like tell somebody that it's not. Re- it's like I feel like Bad Bunny. Um, is a great artist musician right yeah. but i feel like he's missing he's missing like the uh the magic to become when i say magic is like what like for example like what kanye has that could transcend michael so jackson I, I was thinking kanye he does, he's head. not at like there's michael jackson there's kanye there's elvis and there's all these you know bob dylan and then like there's like a couple of layers down there's like uh eminem right mm-hmm. yeah um and then like Bad Bunny's like on the, I, I swear, that's the way I feel. Okay. I feel the opposite. I feel like if they were like Bad ABC. Bunny's better for, than Eminem for me, like hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I I, I wasn't really like a Bad genre. Bunny fan at all until like very recently, until his last album, to be honest. Like yeah, and I was like, you know what? I feel this. Also, it was kind of heartbroken when it came out. So it, like I was coincided. about to say that, but I didn't want to say that. It coincided, but uh, no, nah, like it's just hard to deny good music to a certain point you know what i mean like i understand that it's maybe not like what you want to listen to if you're eh, it's not true because i've listened to it like on a long drive or whatever but it's by yourself like 
like yeah your like head and shit it's it's because it's get like even though the content of the lyrics is kind of like emo first of all like latino emo sad boy hours music do would you agree like kind of if you had to right? put yeah, yeah. if you had to put like a book title to like that encapsulates his entire catalog what would it be it's drake in spanish oh man Really? That's that's what it is. That's you what just, it is. If you nah, just translate, bro. translate. Don't do Bad that. Bunny's Your heart is hard to carry after that. <laughs> yeah, know. dude. He has like he has you know like badass like sad songs that are like sad like uh, that have the sad. I guess I haven't had a chance lyrics. to like really listen to his music. It just never connects with me. It, and it took Am me a minute old? for it to like connect. No, I don't think so because like I'm almost thirty. I mean, I like Bronco. Yeah. Bronco. I like. You know, I like old school music, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like Bob Dylan. Like, I like old shit, too. Like, that- you're telling me, like, I've, I, on a daily basis, mostly, like, 95% of my music is just, like, 90s hip-hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, I get it. But I think, if it, I don't know. He's a good artist, in my opinion. And if I had to, like, give you, like, a comparison, he's, like, Drake in Spanish, essentially. Oh, man. That sounds like a Sheehan version of Drake. Uh, <laughs> that's the way you're making it sound like. i don't i don't i don't know if it's sheen but like it, it's sheen. <laughs> shane sheen whatever yeah, I know what I'm talking about, right? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like he's like a walmart version or something not the no. walmart sheen is like so what would, sheen. what would drake be like gucci drake is gucci yeah and then you're saying bad bunny is sheen. no i didn't say that josh said that i i didn't say that <laughs> i'm saying that he's like well based on what he what he's, oh. like, he's like the spanish the version lyrical of like, content of it is comparable to like if you literally just translate it into english you could be like drake wrote this song oh okay you yeah. know what i mean that's what i'm that's saying that's what i understood from you that's uh, what i'm saying not the sheen version <laughs> All right. I feel like he covers about the same type of material. I think, you know what? Uh, I've been a little bit triggered because I had a like little discussion one time about who's the best, better like artist. Uh-huh. And that I'm not going to name names, but this girl was telling me that Bad Bunny was better than Kanye West. And I was like, there's no chance. That's a reach. Oh, there's no yeah. chance. Yeah. And she was trying to debate it against me. And I was like, you know what? Tell me like what the music's about. And she couldn't tell me because it was insulting to herself. Uh-huh. And I was like, Got you. Got you. I got girl. you. <laughs> got you don't you even want to tell me what your artist sings about. So, yeah. Wait, which, again, I think there's going to be Carrots. parallels to, like, even some of the stuff that Kanye does oh, in, yeah. in terms of the lyrical Just, content. Yeah. Just because a lot of it is heavily based on, like, females and, like, ob- objectification and stuff like that. Or, like, you know, like, having money and being able to spend it. Like, those, they're all, again, very similar themes. It's rap. It's just in Spanish versus, like, how we grew up listening to rap like as an english thing it's more like bobby brown in spanish yeah like an r and <laughs> ish i don't know i'm playing that was a reach but yeah <laughs> like kind of but yeah but he's I dating kendall be- jenner so yeah, who am i to fucking talk you know yeah kendall jenner that means Bad that his, his career is going to be destroyed very soon if you know you think if i mean we follow the pattern of all the like the well you got to think about it like jenner's pattern? yeah what pattern all the kardashians slash jenner's women when they date somebody that person just kind of like falls apart like lamar odom lamar odom Is kanye that? west uh well Tristan kanye Thompson. west became a billionaire after true dating Kim. wait so what about dan booker he's doing good right dan booker got injured in the playoffs yep oh um, didn't win didn't win when he was supposed true. to they had a 3-1 win. lead yep um wow. there you go see it's the curse it's in effect but i'll just to defend kendall here kendall kendall jenner kendall. Like, Bad Bunny's peaking right now. Like, how much bigger can he get? Like, he needs to, like, you know, it, yeah, it's, it's hard to say that, he, like, you can only go one way once you're too high. Down or what? Yeah, like, not necessarily down, but, like, how, how much, how, like, like, how much more amazing. Something? Yeah, you're going to plat. You get so good at what you're doing. He's at the height of his career, right? The only thing he can do is, like, become, like, the rock where he's, like, the top paid actor in the world or... I don't know, like, oh, true. become, like, a Michael Jackson where he, like, makes b- music that everybody can listen to, including guys like me that we can't connect to stuff like that. You know, so it's, I think it's hard for him to reach a, n- a new level. That's what I mean. I hear you. And I think that there's, you're basing, I don't know, this is my opinion on, like, your perspective, so I may be wrong. But I feel like maybe basing it on just you're what wrong. gets played, <laughs> what just gets played, like, it is catchy because there's deeper cuts that are not just, like, like you're not gonna want to hear that, and like a girl's not just want to like shake her booty like at the club to that 
type See, of bad bunny. Like okay. there's deeper cuts. Like, I like for sure. what you just said because that's probably true. Yeah. Yeah. I just haven't listened to the other songs. Yeah. And I'm gonna give it a try. But one thing I used to debate Jeff. That's not here. He's supposed to be there sitting down. He's not there here today. Empty seats. Empty, Empty seat, seat to the third episode in a row. Um, Jeff we used to debate me about Drake and Kanye, right? We'd always deba- have that debate. And uh, one time, th- what really changed it for me with Drake was when he released that uh, album with Gordo, which was like completely different than all his other albums. So you you were able to, s- I was able to see a different version of Drake that I hadn't experienced. And then it, it, it was like a, a, I call it a funnel because in marketing we use funnels, right? Right. I call it, a, like it funneled me into his other music. And then I started listening to his old, old albums for the first time. So think about it like, it's like, it's like you're in a coma for like 10 years, right? And you don't listen to any, like you don't watch what's like, like a whole, like the Game of Thrones. You don't watch, right. you don't watch any of the eight seasons or whatever. And all of a sudden you wake up from a coma and you're like rewatching it for the first time. And I went down the rabbit hole in the Drake, the whole Drake movement. And now I'm a Drake fan. Here, here's my counter to what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> he still just copied Kanye doing that. Because what did Kanye do after doing like so many hit albums? He was like, oh, you know what? Guess what? 808s and Heartbreak. Completely different. Yeah. Now, well, 808 Heartbreak became the, the template for The for, Weeknd yeah. and everybody else. But yep. yeah. Yep. But I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of both. So I'm know. a fan of, yeah, I'm yeah. a fan of everybody. I'm a fan of Bad Bunny too. I just can't listen to the, the music. Like it doesn't connect with me. That's it. I just like like the beat and stuff, I and think the lyrics are like. Well, that's what Kanye talks about. Where like you put it like, like you put one of those beats, and it doesn't matter what you say on top of it. Like runaway point or like, case, lift yourself. I like the lyrics, or case in point, lift yourself. The song, yeah. the pooty scoop, pooty scoop, scoop, oh scoop, 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 scoop. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one was. That is like, like a, such a good song that there's nothing is happening in, <laughs> in the lyrics, dude. Yeah, so you know it, it goes to show that. Um, going back to the four agreements, we're not talking about it. We haven't spoken about it today, but it's like uh, the, one of the four agreements is like be impeccable with your word. It means like whatever you say out loud or thinking your thoughts or listen to has an influence, a direct influence in your life. And a lot of people don't know that you just said something like, I just like the beat. Mm-hmm. But behind the beat is somebody's voice saying, fuck, 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 suck, 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 like cheat, 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 and all these things. And that's programming you to like the way you think. So be impeccable with what you listen to. Like be conscious of what you're listening to regardless of the hype. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Kendall Jenner. What, by the way, Kendall Jenner. <laughs> what so are, Kendall you guys, Jenner? are you guys a fan of the relationship or no? You got to vote against. I don't know. Against or for? I'm only a I mean, fan if he pops out like three babies with her. Right? Yeah. Now we're doing right. Really? Yeah. You know, I want her to be with Dan Booker. Like, yeah, they're just, like, single and, like, traveling the world and, like, nah, that's not exciting. Yeah. I want him to have, like, a family, like, you yeah. know? That's, yeah, that's super against the grain of, like, everything now, right? Yeah. I, I think. I, don't I feel like that would be super cool. But what do they need to travel the road alone to have babies? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm, talking, I'm thinking, like, long term. Yeah, like, if, if they're together for, like, a long time. Because Kendall would have, like, some really dope babies with Bad Bunny. <laughs> Probably. Do you agree? True. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be tall. Is so she tall? Yeah, she's tall. She's tall, like, for, for a female. Or is she, like, 5'10", 5'11"? I don't know, but she's a model, so. How tall is Bad Bunny? She could wear her heels. I mean, he, Bad Bunny she's wears tall. boots in movies and shit. Bad he's, Bunny he's is, cool. like, your movies? average height. Yeah, he came out in this movie with Brad Pitt Yeah, uh, on the uh, train. train. Oh, Bullet Train. Train guy. Oh, the Bullet Train. train. Yeah. He's a badass Bullet actor, by the way. He should do more films. Bullet yeah. Train? Did I see that one? He, he was in Narcos Mexico, too, but he had, like, a very minor role. So I, it wasn't, like, you know, I couldn't I couldn't be like, yeah, he did well. Or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? One thing yeah, I do I love about Bad Bunny is his come-up story. That is fucking inspiring. What's so, his come-up story? I don't know it. So I don't really I don't I'm not gonna say it today because I don't know the details of it. Yeah. Um. So, but I've heard it multiple times from different people. Mm-hmm. And I I saw an interview on a the very first back to riches story. Yeah, pretty exactly. It's exactly that. like it's almost like impossible to do what he did in the fashion he did it and the way he's doing it right now. And then the fact that he's singing in Spanish. Like, he's not even singing the language that people listen to. Like, you know, it's like... It's yeah. not the predominant language. Yeah. It's not the predominant language in the, in the U.S. And he's still the number one artist. Number one played on Spotify. For real? Yeah, yeah. number one played. Oh, Over wow. Drake, yeah. Over Drake, correct. 
So yeah, check this out. I, I was curious, right, on, on how tall Bad Bunny was, and it's cool because I looked it up. Everybody guess, Jordan. Five nine. Five ten. Uh, five eleven. Jeff is right. He's five eleven, and then oh, it gave me like I other. I five eleven. <laughs> that was my guess too. I was like five ten, five eleven. But all right, so Bad Bunny is five eleven. Kendall Jenner is five ten, so she's actually kind of tall, yeah. And Damn, she's five ten. That's four. This is okay. That's a crazy height. This height. This next height is even, is is even crazier. Arcangel is four foot eight. Who's, Who's that? that? <laughs> He's like a, a reggaeton artist, uh -huh. uh, or like bachata, or one, or four both. Foot eight. Yeah, he comes out in one of the most recent singles that he dropped called La Yompa. It's him and Bad Bunny, or Bad Bunny and him, whatever. Uh -huh. But he's the guy that discovered Bad Bunny. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I was watching an interview. I might have this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I, like I was watching an interview where it's literally exactly what you're saying. One of the very first songs that came out with Bad Bunny before he was like ever big or whatever, it's called Tu No Vives Así or something like that. You don't live or, like that. No Vives Así. And... He was like on Instagram live, just like rapping his verse or whatever. And one of the producers that works with Arcan Hill saw it and was like, dude, you got to check this guy out. He's like the next big fucking thing. And then like they got him into the studio. They made the track and shit. And the rest was like history. Like yeah. it just blew up. Like, okay. So I've crazy. Yes. yes. <laughs> that was insane. And I've heard the song and I was like, damn, like that's, it's a good song. <laughs> it's a good song. Yeah. Anyways, what was the next topic? <laughs> so the next topic, we got the Willow Project. So um jenny tell us about it bro what's going on with the willow project what is the willow project sad. like there's a movie called willow that was one of my favorite movies as a kid that's all i know about the Willow. really yeah what i was, was thinking about? when i heard of this willow project thing i was, thought you were talking about willow smith same i thought right? it was like I was something like, i don't it's gonna be like a really good movie something so. about like nature something nice like something nice but then like i like it's about read nature. about it and it's like sad they basically want to sell alaska and drill for oil over yeah. there and well they they passed they passed on the project so they're gonna do it like but there's it's joe biden behind yeah it? joe biden and a lot of people are mad at him because before like when he was like running, running the president um he was saying how he was gonna like stop climate change and then here he is like passing a law to like make it make it worse and it's just it's just upsetting a lot of people and it's like this man is gonna die soon and he's not even gonna be here for it and Wait, it, but they passed it even after all, like, the letters they sent to the White House? Yeah, they sent, oh, yeah, they sent, like, over a million letters to the White House to stop it. And they even um, made a petition. They could have just emailed. For real. Right? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it was emails. They they're like just, save the world send the re send the letter wait, and paper wait, no, yeah sure. emails wait what was you it said mail. mail i mean it's email. either or i'm sure email. no but like okay an so. email my bad so yeah so what's what's it what's the effect of this like what's no, gonna, what is it gonna be? oh there what's the purpose bro the what like the purpose of it what was <laughs> like i so based on so based on <laughs> what um, you sent me earlier today. Oh well, like what Biden is saying is that they it's gonna like open more jobs for people. Yeah, and like it's not like anybody wants money. to work in Alaska. Yeah, like more money, but like ultimately it's just gonna it's gonna kill the destroy, environment. Yeah, destroy environment and like wildlife as well, and like especially and like the polar bears, and they've already been like aren't they already like suffering and stuff? Yeah, like all the ice is melting, and there's like no food for them, and they're all like skinny and stuff. Yeah. Like the polar bears, like the as soon as they drink a lot of Coca Cola, the Coca Cola bears. Sure, <laughs> Let me get on that food, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. But on a serious <laughs> note, so it's killing a lot of wildlife. Yeah, okay. it's releasing a lot of carbon dioxide. Yeah, carbon to like millions. Like they said, like millions of barrels, two, over two hundred million barrels of like carbon dioxide will be released per in year. This, yeah. Per yeah. year, because of this deal. Yeah. And the benefit of having this deal is what? What is what is Basic like money? Money. Yeah, the market. Mm. What about the polar bears, bro? What are we going to do without polar bears? Everybody loves Coca-Cola, and they're like, Coca-Cola's little mascot. <laughs> what are we going to do without... With, with, have y'all ever seen a polar so, bear? No, I've never seen a polar bear. That's why we need to see a polar Who's bear. It? I've never seen a polar bear either, but I, I, I wanted to talk about climate change in general. Oh. This is like... Yeah. I don't know... I'm not a fucking... I'm not an expert, of course, obviously, yeah. but there's <laughs> things that I think that are like probably too far-fetched to do and maybe like not a lot of people understand like what the actual consequences would be right so like first of all like 
I understand the economic approach like to the policy because it makes sense. I mean, we're kind of in a downturn ever since like COVID. Well, yeah, I guess like ever since COVID happened and then like Biden took office and whatnot. But um, even if we are polluting, we're only polluting like half as much as China. Right. So like, that's first of all, right. Like, yeah, but China's the, like we're weakening like ourselves by trying to like abide by things that, aren't necessarily super feasible because we still don't have a better way to create energy or at least more efficiently mm -hmm. than like fossil fuels or yeah and also if like burning more fossil fuels releases more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere don't plants use carbon dioxide to make oxygen wouldn't that mean that they're just gonna like absorb more of that carbon dioxide and be healthier or am i, I mean, misunderstanding how that works i think you i think in a, in a natural balance um ecosystem yes but when you release like it's like you're saying like a, a car runs on gas right but if you throw like a ton of gas on the car it's gonna fucking explode that's what the analogy is like you can't release all this at once especially year over year but, but i don't by the way i'm no expert you, i'm just going based on what i read neither am i and and that's my point with like i don't necessarily think that um, not that climate change isn't real. I mean, it's real, right? Like the weather has been changing. There's patterns that we can see, but I think that there's like longer cycles over longer time frames that ne may indicate that like it's not necessarily something that we're causing altogether. Like we play a factor in it, but I think that I think from what I've read, which I may be a hundred percent wrong if I am, that's fine. But I think that there's like cycles that the planet goes through on like larger time scales that we don't take into consideration that like a lot of people on one side of the aisle, political aisle or the other may use to like influence people to do whatever it is that they want to do. Yeah. So that, that's my take on it. I don't know. Yeah. I'm confused with everything, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, lost. I'm lost. I just feel like the, all problems, you know how we allow it. We say China, we say this, we say Biden, like all these finger China. Points. It all goes down to like the natural way of living. So like yeah. if you consume a lot and everybody consumes a lot, then these these things start happening to the world. So it's like it goes down to like what every human the way every human lives this world is what causes these these, these big changes, these big catastrophes and stuff like that. So we have to figure out like what exactly should a human do from the time they wake up to the time they go to sleep. And how they live that every aspect of what we do like we gotta really examine how we live day to day how we you know consume how we entertain how we travel communicate everything needs to be put into like this like a think tank of like the best minds of the world and figure out like this is the way humans should actually live for the world to be um i don't want to call it utopian because utopian sounds kind of freaky. Yeah, it always has like a negative connotation. Yeah, but what, like, what do you mean like utopian? Utopian is like everybody has Ideal. like the same. Oh, like okay. Everything. Okay. Like a, it's almost like perfect. Have you read The Giver before? Like what? The Giver, the book, The Giver. No, nope. where it's like black and white. I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that in like eighth grade. Yeah, I read it in sixth grade. But so the the Giver is about a utopian society and how everybody kind of like everything's perfect. Aren't they like in domes? They're in, well, I don't remember it clearly. Like, I mean, I read it a long time ago. But the last chapter, uh, it becomes color, right? Yeah. Like, Sorry for ruining it. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> the movie, too. It was black and white. Everywhere. I haven't seen the film. There's but, a movie after this? That's yeah. cool. But, um, so ideally, like, we need to figure out, like, what is, like, for example, give an example. How often do you guys buy clothes? Um, I wouldn't say that often. Like, Every other week. <laughs> okay. That's fairly often. <laughs> so back like 50 years ago, even like 20 years ago, we would buy clothes like once a year. That's the truth, right, Josh? Okay, well wow. then often, I guess. So <laughs> it it's becoming to the yeah. point where people buy clothes every day. every day. They order things every day. Mm -hmm. So what is that costing? Like what's the, what's the cost and effect of those habits? Once you break down the habits, you realize that the problems of the world are not co being caused by Joe Biden. They're not being caused by China or like... The habits, of the the problems of the world be ca are caused by the yes. habits of the most powerful people in the world, which are Americans. We are the drivers of what causes the problems. We are the problem in the world. 
Yeah, I was it's thinking me. about that like ye- well yesterday, like after reading about it, like after finding finding out about it, and it's like I was thinking about how like one person will like litter one like one tiny little rapper, but yeah. like now imagine like a bunch of people doing that. It's just like exactly, and it's like it just it's becomes just a much bec- right. It and I was like, damn, compounds. yeah. Supposedly yeah. that when we were in COVID lockdown, that climate change was doing better because like no one could really go out. Yeah, and supposedly that. Oh, yeah, it was getting better was those like years that we were lakes, like locked in. Like the water. How many years was that? Two. What? COVID? Two. Uh, of like full lockdown, maybe like close to one, one. in total. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But then after, even after that, everybody was kind of still like. Didn't very it feel cautious. like 10 years or something like that? <laughs> I felt long. That, that, that COVID it feels period. weird even now, like coming out of it. Like, right? Yeah. yeah. It was weird to like go stories. It's like, I don't know, like it feels like it paused, but like it kept going at the same time. So it just, I don't know, it just feels weird. That's interesting to me, like, the way time is perceived. So, like, back in the days, during, like, the Jesus times, people would live, like, 40 years, 45 years, mm-hmm. you know, shorter lifespans. Yeah. But they would they would do more in their life. They would explore more, do more, right? Mm-hmm. With less time. And now that we get to live a little bit longer, 70, 80 years, some people live up to 100, um, it feels like time flies by like you do less time flies by that's for yeah. sure so it's but like i think it's time probably, perception is changing i mean yeah I, I feel like because of innovation we've become a lot more efficient at doing things so although it may seem like we're doing less i feel like we're doing more yeah like facetiming somebody from across the world Instead of like, like traveling your, on foot yeah, to them. Yeah. Or, or I mean, it's just but like. The, the experience is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the experience of how you, per- the time perception. Like when you sit down in a room, right? In a, like a classroom. Mm-hmm. You guys are still going to school. Like you feel like it's, you're there for like six hours, but you were only there for like an hour and 10 minutes or whatever oh, the class period yeah, is. Yeah. Right? Versus like you're out at a party not that you guys go to parties. You shouldn't be going. <laughs> but if you're at a party, six That's hours scary. feels like 20 minutes. Yeah. So if you put that in the perspective of like technology, right? Like having access to technology versus back in the days, you put you would probably ex- feel, you feel like you experience a longer lifetime in the shortest, shorter time period years ago versus now. That's true. And there's no way to prove it though, so I'm right. So <laughs> there's no prove way me wrong. It's just <laughs> no argument. <laughs> I, I, I think we, I I know what you mean. Cause like there was more analog experience, like you're everything was more externalized, right? Like versus now, like you know, a whole work day you could just be sitting in front of like a screen, for example. Yeah. Versus uh, like back then, you know, like it was more like vocational stuff or like by trade, where if you're a butcher for example or like a baker or a um, blacksmith or something like it's all with your hands it's all analog it's all like in the real world or whatever you want to call it base reality base reality that just reminds me like how you said like being in the classroom it feels like way longer and it, it would feel even way, like more longer when you, it's like cold and then like when you're uncomfortable in the day or sleepy yeah sleepy, everything just cold. feels way longer like that I'm just, just like, like a subject you're not interested in at, at all yeah well that reminds me of the film uh vanilla sky which we've seen it together oh yeah that was or, I love that movie. spoiler alert you haven't seen it uh tom cruise <laughs> which is like uber rich in this film goes to a traumatic experience and then ends up signing the contract to a company where they f- pretty much freeze him and then he can choose when to die. But throughout his whole experience moving forward, he's connected to this machine that allows him to simulate real life. So he's living in the simulation, right? Mm-hmm. I'm still confused about the movie. So. Yeah, so he's living in the simulation, but he doesn't know that he's living in the simulation. He forgot that he signed this contract. So there's this guy that appears to him throughout the film that's like being sent by the company that, that does this. Mm-hmm. To like tell him to like don't freak out like you're good like don't freak out like you're because he's freaking out like he's slowly getting oh like he's like, like aware. Uh, realizing that he's in a simulation like that yeah he's re- he's realizing he's in a simulation slowly but there's a guy sent to him to like kind of calm him down 
and uh, at the end of the movie is revealed that he was in the simulation the whole time and Wait. they they take him back to like where he signed the contract to to go through the experience but going back on time perception is like he's pretty much frozen and he's gonna live on forever in this in this experience yeah until he decides one day like okay i'm ready to i'm ready to die like die for real die for real yeah that's, a, that's i haven't seen that movie in such a long time that like listening to you explain the concept of it makes me feel like i've never seen it before Wait, no, no, i know i have like, so I i've seen have. it like in my lifetime i've seen it like five or six times in different eras and every time i see it it feels like i watched it again for the first time yeah wait when did the whole simulation start like before or after the accident it started after the accident like when he started seeing his face like messed up well, yeah his face got messed up right because of the accident and that was real that was real okay which caused him to seek like he was about to commit oh, suicide that's why he went to yeah. sign the contract correct oh from what i recall i need to watch it again at this point but that's one of my favorite films man damn i need to watch it again that yeah, movie's crazy should. i haven't seen it in such a, like i've literally maybe seen it like twice in my lifetime and the last time was like 20 years ago or something like that oh my well, god b- by the way so this might be possible now like with those like chips like those like uh you're talking about earlier today brain computer interfaces yeah those oh the brain implants kind of mm-hmm. that might be i mean i'm not i'm not sure i'm a fucking scientist but i mean if that's possible then that's it's like possible too right yeah it's like version one it's like we're at the atari level right now with that yeah yeah like you said about the ai how it's just like we're here right now and then like the next one's like this Mm -hmm. i think that's a very like almost like we're that character that tom cruise is playing in vanilla sky like we're getting closer and closer to realizing yeah Oh shit! Maybe we're in a simulation. As we get like better yeah. at creating technology that's gonna bridge the gap between like man and machine, like I feel yeah. like it's inevitable almost. Well, there's this like conspiracy theory that I read up on where you know how Elon Musk is like talking about going to other planets and all this, right? Well, the the conspiracy is that they're actually building a technology that would allow you to live, like let's say in a capsule, right? where your entire reality for your entire existence is in a different world but it's also but it's also in earth so ideally what happened is like you would let's say i i'm I'm about to have a kid i can decide whether i want him to live in this world on earth or in this virtual simulation where he's plugged in his entire life he'll never know and he'll never experience what we experience but it's a new world that's more of a utopian society like the movie with um, Florence Pugh and Harry Styles. Oh, I haven't seen that. that. I don't think I've seen it. Which one, what's it called? What's it called, Jordan? Darlene or something like that. Don't worry, Darlene. Don't worry, Darlene. Yeah. Don't worry, Darlene. I don't know. I haven't heard about it. That yeah. one was a good plot twist. That one was, I was, it was freaky. Yeah. So yeah, in the, in the near future, you not near future, but in the future, you will be able to elect where you want to actually live and grow up and experience. What do you want to experience? You want to experience Earth? Or this other simulation that was created for humans, Illuna City. Illuna City. City. Yeah, I that's, mean, I, th- oh, go ahead, sorry. I think that's cool, but it's also like maybe it's gonna be like the new way to live. Like it won't yeah. be any like different for the people who actually are like living in that time. Yeah, they they won't know the difference. But like, let's say they like, will not know that they don't live transitioning from like now. To them, it's gonna be weird for like us to see them like happen. See us, us seeing it happen to them, and then like at some point, it's just everybody's gonna be like that, and there's gonna be like no more of us. Well, AI will take over. Yeah. If if you think about it, like the the first signs of like moving in that direction are all already there. You know, like if you take a step back from like all the stuff that has been being advanced in tech recently you know like Neuralink, uh, chat gpt with like what they just released gpt4 gpt4 um just how much better or how much stronger processors are getting like the introduction of like quantum computing things of that nature like all the little dots are already there you just gotta like connect them mm-hmm. you know what i mean to like move to that end yeah it, I mean, even um, what was the the metaverse and everything like that's already there. Like there's already people that go into like virtual reality, like 
games and hang out with each other or just like chill and whatnot like and now it looks it looks weird right because you have like a, a screen on your face yeah. <laughs> but that's like again like version one of, yeah but you now have a chip or some contact lenses yeah or, or you're just literally in a pod like 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 in the don't matrix you know, you're like whatever. literally connected directly to the simulation like yep. in don't worry darling like do y'all mind that we like spoil a little bit oh yeah i can spoil it yeah go spoil it. It. Like in don't worry darling she was like in a bed what was she connected to i'm like, not sure what she was connected to so like the whole movie it was like um how you guys said like a utopian like everybody had like the same routine every day like the wives would stay home and like cook and clean and like just be a housewife and like they would go to bradley in a class and then the, the husbands would go to work every day but like the wives never knew where they were going to work yeah, so, they just the whole time they're just saying like, oh, they're working on something big, like something new. Oh yeah, like but they never knew what they were yeah. actually working on. But when they would go to work, they were going like back to real life to actually yeah. provide money so they could stay in the stimulation. Oh yeah. Wow. So the whole time oh, the yeah, wives is... didn't know they were just like on the bed, like knocked out. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like so I, I saw the, the trailer for this movie. What was the purpose of the wife? Because to like in their right. base reality like they were struggling with money and like she was always work like she was a nurse i think yeah. and so she was like working day in and day out and like they just didn't have enough to provide for themselves and like i guess he took it like upon himself to like do that and when she found out like she was obviously like mad like she was yeah she was like she was fighting <laughs> she was fighting but yeah that was the point and it's an and interesting concept and only one other like housewife knew yeah about there was the whole uh, there was another woman like she knew that she was in but she, yeah and then like the main character like florence Pugh, she kind of her and her cells right but she got like kind of suspicious about it all because um there was this one girl um who was yeah it? there like was this another unstable girl, girl. She, i guess she was unstable. like or, well, she, the other her. girl was becoming suspicious of like what they were doing as well so like she was going back to like the re like i guess the reality yeah it's because like it's like a little town and you can't go outside like yeah, you can't go, go outside you can't the go barriers. Past a certain point. Yeah, because there's a train. And then, like, one day, um, Florence Pugh, like, she gets off the bus and she walks up, like, this mountain where, like, there's this door, kind of like a glass window. And that's where they go to go back to the reality. Like, reality. And, like, I guess she got too close to it and they're like, oh, she's starting to, like, know stuff. So they try to brainwash them all over again yeah. to make them forget that they were, that they're and in. How do they do that? Is something I can learn? <laughs> How did they do that? <laughs> they, I think they did that thing where they like um, shocked them in their brain. That, that sounds movie. wild. With the that was a good movie. With Electrodes? The, I guess. You don't remember? No. I don't remember what it was. But I think it was something like that. One of my biggest fears is getting amnesia. Like forgetting everything. Oh, me too. I mean, you wouldn't know. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Yeah, but like I've heard like stories of like especially like an unsolved mysteries, they would show like stories of people who get amnesia and they just would disappear because they don't know, they don't know where how to get home. Oh, that's so sad. That's wild. Yeah, like I wonder. I'm gonna keep an air tag on you. <laughs> <laughs> I should get an air tag. <laughs> yeah, I forgot a chip on you, Dad. Just get it like surgically implanted, dude. Yeah. No collar. Tracked forever. Where would you get it? Like. Somewhere that some somewhere that you wouldn't get chopped off in case you go to the Probably cartels. Like, I don't know your neck. I feel like, like you just have like ear? a random bulge, <laughs> <laughs> like a little one behind your ear. I guess. Yeah, when I was a kid, my grandmother would always tell me like, "There's gonna be a time in your lifetime where they're gonna want to put a chip on you. Don't let them do that." For real? Like yeah, my grandmother t told me when I was a kid. This is like thirty years ago. The mark of the beast. Mark of the beast is in the Bible. In the Bible, it says that we're going to uh, be asked to be uh, receive the mark of the beast. Receive the mark of the beast. Your wrist or your forehead, something like that. Yeah. So. <laughs> the microchip. I like, what the heck? Yeah, man. The Bible has some crazy stuff in it. Some really crazy stuff. You know what? I actually saw like a, a TikTok the other day and it was like, I forgot, like about a river that dried up. And then it's saying like you know what I'm talking about. Yes, you know what it's called. Yes. What so called? what Jenny's talking about was the the Red Sea, the Red Sea where Moses parted the Red Sea, and they were like, oh, this you know obviously never happened. But then, up the sea level dropped enough to where there was like evidence of chariots moving across that part of 
the Red Sea, where theoretically speaking would be like the most exposed for people to walk across if they were like part the sea. So there's like broken pieces of like Egyptian chariots or whatever, which are in the story, the Moses leads the, uh, I guess they're the Jewish people out, out of Egypt into like the promised land or whatever. The parts of the Red Sea as they're leaving, they're being chased by the Egyptians. And chariots. Yeah. Collapses back. And then that's what they found. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you were talking about that, but that's, were you talking about that? No. Nope. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I was talking about like, Oh, uh, the river Euphrates. That one. Yeah. Yes, that one. Yeah. So <laughs> another revelations thing where, um, the river Euphrates or the Tigris in the Euphrates, like, like in modern day Iraq, back in the day Mesopotamia, apparently like angels were trapped or fallen angels were like trapped oh. under there. Right? Is this what we were talking about? Yeah. yeah fallen yeah. angels were trapped under Damn. there. And uh, one of the signs of the apocalypse is that this river would eventually dry up and they would be released. And there's what? a there's a crazy ass video. Uh, uh, this may be the one that you're talking about where like you can hear like chains rattling or like people what and stuff are, like that. What is are that the it? fallen angels though? I don't know what. The, uh, I've never heard of that. So the, there's a lot of different concepts of what they are, right? It, They're it, archangels, dominions, the powers. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, those are the three I know. Yeah, so like a, a fallen angel is essentially in, I think the most like, <clears throat> excuse me, the version of the Bible that's most accepted you know, are like the angels that chose to follow Lucifer when he rebelled. Okay. So like they were cast out of grace, right? Like thrown out of heaven. They landed, you know, did their thing. They were a race of creatures that like took, human wives and then created another race of things called the nephilim or like described to be giants and a bunch of other stuff and they essentially taught mankind about like sorcery and like witchcraft and knowledge of like a bunch of other stuff oh okay and there's a version of the bible that's not readily like or not openly accepted that's called um or a part of it that's called the book of enoch that talks a little bit more about all of that and so when the flood happened in the traditional Bible story, in the way that the book of Enoch tells it, it was it happened to like wipe out all of those races so that it could just be mankind again to restart. So, okay. yeah, long story short, fallen angels, they followed Lucifer when he was cast out of heaven. Wow. No you heard about that? Talking about wiping out. Y'all heard about the Brazil tsunami or something like that? Yeah, I heard about that. What? That's the way you... What had, was it you or dad that told us? I, I told I know, you. One of you guys, I, I, you guys gave me the message. What? I think it was Jeff. Yeah. And then you told us probably. No. What? I never spoke about it. I think I told you about it, but I don't remember well, Jeff saying anything. Regardless, like, yeah, what yeah, happened? What, what happened with that tsunami? Like Brazil. That in Brazil, they were basically mocking Jesus and it was like, this. they were like dressed up as um, like the devil and like they were like basically like beating Jesus. Like this man was dressed up as Jesus. They were having like, like a parade or something? Yeah. That's crazy. And then, like, I don't know how long, what was the time span, but then there was, like, a flood and just, like, kind of, like, wiped a lot of things out. So I was like, wow. A lot wow. of people died. Yeah, I was like, wow. That's well, crazy. And supposedly a week before that, there was, like, the Rio de Janeiro, like, the statue of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like, lightning struck, right? So lightning struck. Somebody, somebody captured an image of that. A week later, they have that parade where they're um, honoring Satan. They're, like, praising Satan. Oh, crap. Right? So it was, like, yeah. that type of parade. Yeah, yeah it, was it was that type was, of parade. It was, like, it was like a, a whole satanic thing. parade. Satanic it was parade. A satanic, correct. And then once that happened, like, a day or two day, days later, like, a flood happened and wiped out half of the city. Or not, I mean, not half the city, but, like, yeah. Like a part that, of it or yeah, something. Yeah, all that area. That's what I saw. So I don't That's know crazy, how though. true it is because you know how these things are nowadays. You can't believe everything you see on the TikToks. Yeah. On the TikToks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out to TikTok for giving us exposure. Thank you. The Christ the Redeemer that's where statue. I, that's where I had first heard about the Willow Project. On TikTok? Yeah. The Willow Project. I, I don't know. There's so many like insane videos there that I'm I'm just like, this is, has to be fake. Like there's no way that this is real. There's that's no real. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like Bad get, Bunny dating Kendall Jenner. <laughs> That's where I saw those Full pictures circle. too. Yeah. I could That's Photoshop it. I could Photoshop this. <laughs> you could deep fake it now. I could deep fake it. Yeah. Do them on a date now. All right. They go on their first date. 
caught on camera. Yeah, something like that. that. We'll post oh, the pictures. Oh, do like the AI voice that people have been have been doing. Yeah, good bad bunny like talking to Kendall. Yeah, yeah. at Palenque Grill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. That'd be a good deep fake. Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny spotted in Laredo, Texas, Ooh. at Palenque Grill. And then we'll like cut it. Why don't we just invite like a, a Bad Bunny look like to the show, and like we just replace the whole time he's talking with Bad That's Bunny's real voice. That'd be kind of cool. Should. That'd be. There's crazy. many Bad Bunny look like. There's a lot of Bad Bunny look like in Laredo. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's uh, even some on TikTok that they, they go to like little parties to perform, and then they're they're calling him like s- small rabbit or something like good <laughs> the good rabbit nah, or like can't, can't hate the hustle man. Somebody's out there working, making money. Respect to that guy. <laughs> I mean, if there's like Elvis impersonators and whatnot. Like, why not, right? Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's a perfect example. Like cover bands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Screw it, dude. Just invite True. some people. True. True. Amen. So we got is that is that the is that a wrap for today? Yes, I think so. We're on pizza. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're about to eat some pizza. Thanks so much for checking in today. Much love. Make sure you like, subscribe, show us some love, drop a comment, tell us what you think. And if you have any questions or suggestions for topics, Jordan's going to read all the comments, do the research. I got you guys. For next episode. We are going to do an AI episode coming up. So stay tuned for that. GPT-4 got announced today. Biggest breakthrough in AI uh, history the world will never be the same and we're going to be talking about that tomorrow so stay tuned for that guys all right thank you peace